So now this is Cosmos Air. The pulse behind is the purr instrument. What you hear the cello down there, those are below the vocal range of the cat, and so it's pretty much traffic noise to cats. Any cat person knows that, that each cat has its own personality, and it, and it makes sense that it translates into musical taste. This is the way cat melodies sound, because they don't have language. And I thought a reward-related sound that they will all experience as their emotional brain is forming is suckling. And so I include the kind of sound, things like going toward the speaker or nuzzling the speaker, purring. They do scent marking when they like something, so if they'll rub up against it. I can see that the cats were kind of really curious about it, like, what is this? This isn't what I hear normally. I mean, I think it's a great idea. It's the same way for humans, you know, like sometimes you'll just put on a song and you automatically just enter a zone of, you know, zen, calm. Um, so I can see how it can work for other animals. There was one lady I liked who wrote back, she said, uh, well, my cat didn't really respond, but my husband likes it. <laughs> for me, the long-term implications are that not only can we, can we care for them better, but we can understand them better. We're literally, you have to understand their communication in order to write like this. Mm -hmm.